The lunatic pastor David Manning is in a little bit of financial trouble, so naturally, who's he going to blame? The gays. Let's watch. But I, I see this, as many of the elders have discussed, as just more of an opportunity for us to get more press and to get more coverage to explain our position um, and as to who we are. Right now, the articles are jumping all over the place. Every, I've gotten calls from everybody about this, the news organization. In fact, can I share this with you? To all the sodomites that think that you're going to purchase this church and foreclosure sale. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Before you can ever own the Lord's house, because that's what this is. That's right. That this is the Lord's yes. house. This ain't no damn bath house. That's right. This ain't no fag house. <laughs> this is the Lord's house. Amen. And before you can ever own this property, hook or crook to own this property, you will be carried men who are fags with testicles will be carrying babies in their testicles and giving birth to them through their anus. That's how impossible it is for you to That's get right. this house. That's right. When you start carrying a baby in your bags yes, and right. birthing that baby through your ass, then right. you can own this house. Tell Until I see you pull a baby out yes. your ass, you ain't going to pull this church out from underneath to us. And boom, shaka like yes. goes right there. Yes, and all you fags can go to hell That's and right. do it now. I'm James David Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord's servant. I can't with this guy. Who the fuck was that? What did I just watch? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I think my favorite part of that is weird because it was actually, he, he finally brought a yes man in, or actually a yes woman in this case, where her job is to say, oh, yes, pastor. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You tell him, pastor. That's right on. No, no, nothing he said was even coherent. Where the fuck did that come from? Where did that come from? He's talking about financial troubles he has where apparently they want to foreclose and take his church or whatever the case is. And he's like, I, I got it. It's the gay's fault. Unbelievable. That's scapegoating 101. And then he's came up with, see, he had to think about this to say it. You'll only take my church when you get, you get pregnant and you got babies in your testicles and then it comes out your ass. I don't even know what goes on in this dude's head. He had to think about that to say it. He had to think about that concept to say it. This guy is on a whole nother level of perversion. And for a guy who's so immensely anti-gay and using all the slurs and all that stuff, your hand motion sure are questionable. <laughs> You're like, let me tell you about the gays. I serve the Lord. Hey. Uh, in fact, he actually admitted what his thoughts are on sexuality. Let's listen to that. All right, Pastor Manning, you said that Starbucks was putting semen of the sodomites in their coffee. But here's the interesting part, because it, quote, it flavors up the coffee and it makes you think you're having a good time, which then makes me wonder, do you equate drinking semen with a good time? Well, you know, you're, you're pushing me up in a little bit of a corner here now, Jink, because I have to be very cautious here. But let me, in my in, in all precautions that I can exercise here now, say that, well, you know, a number of people think that semen tastes good. A number of people think that drinking semen is a good idea. Taste of, of semen is quite uh, in, uh, a, a, a flavor. And they seek it in the midst of other kinds of activities. And so one would think, well, all right, oh, well, start with one, not one would think. Starbucks has deduced that, listen, you know, in an ingenious way, I would say that we're more and more in infamous ingenious way. They have discovered that since people like semen and there's so many people drinking it from one another, their body fluids, why not put it in our coffees and flavor up our coffees? So, Pastor Manning, I mean, it stands for overall from your descriptions here. That you, you think that being gay is a lifestyle choice. So it's a choice that a lot of people would want to make. You think that semen is delicious to a lot of people. And, and these are choices that people make. So it seems like perhaps if it wasn't for the Bible and the teachings of Moses, et cetera, that, that you might have been tempted by those choices as well. Uh, is, that, is that the case? Have you been tempted? 
Oh, absolutely. No, 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 no doubt about it. You know, uh, Jenk, I spent three and a half years in prison. So, yeah, I saw that and, and was, was, was tempted, but I didn't yield to temptation, by the way. I, you need to know that. And make sure you publish that as well. All right. So you, you, you thought about having gay sex and that was tempting to you and you thought that might be delicious or really fun, but you decided to hold strong and not do it. Is that the, is that roughly right? That is true. This dude is gayer than Doogie Hauser in a field full of dicks. You gotta stop scapegoating. You have to realize that your religion is bullshit. And come out of the closet and enjoy your life, Pastor Manning. Uh, I know I shouldn't be giving you friendly advice here to actually, uh, you know, make you a more fulfilled, joyful person. But I'm gonna do it anyway. There it is.